we we killed or I I, I killed Kev for his yeah, special. Don't don't, don't yeah. try to put us I in can, on this money. This is between I, y'all. Are we not? Even, and, we, I need, and I need to hear your response to his response <laughs> regarding what El you Messi. Said. Ooh, you heard what he said about you. <laughs> um, but the, the crazy part is we're not even gonna get to Kev yet. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to draw a direct fucking comparison to. To art with a purpose, expression with a purpose. Mm. Kev's special came out, killed it. it. We weren't alone in our, or I wasn't alone in my sentiments. Mm. Um, and then the goat, Dave Chappelle shows mm. up mm. and does a does a how what a, what was that? Fifteen minutes, eighteen, 18 mm. minute, eighteen minute special <sighs> on his fucking IG and does two million views the first night. Just just being authentic. Sorry, Kev. There's the difference, bro. Mm. And you and and you have and Kev actually has a bigger launching pad, a bigger following than Dave. So say some shit, bro. We'll get to you. That shit was brilliant. Yes. Unforgiven, Dave Chappelle, if you have not seen it, on his IGTV, it's up to six million views now. Um the first first night he did two point five. Um and it... And How many it, followers does Dave have? That's a good question. Let's find out. Because if it's, if that's up to six million, he better have six million followers. No, he does not. I can guarantee yeah, that's you. That, I can that's guarantee that you. bullshit. That's that bullshit I understand about IG. I guarantee. I guarantee you, he doesn't. G. Yeah, that's that bullshit I don't understand. One point six million followers. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that, bro. Like, how do you re- how do you how do you watch that? Agree, uh, potentially agree with it. Um, and then that doesn't create a follow, which would then help monetary. He doesn't need much more monetary gain than what he already has. But I'm just saying, just on the just on the face value of if somebody's just looking at um, the amount of followers that but you I, have, I, I, I don't get that part. I, I'm I'm with you. However, and for Dave and for creatives going forward, how much value? As even as as great as Netflix is, as great as Amazon has been with the with the content, as great as the what what value does third party host? Granted, Instagram will be a third party host, but it's a little bit a little bit more direct to your consumer base. If you can go into a meeting and go, "Hey, I did six million views on my IGTV. Pay for this next whatever. Go in with me on this next whatever." It's just it's I, I'm I'm thinking of it from a creative standpoint where it's like I did six million on my own from mm-hmm. my from my page. Fuck with me. Mm-hmm. And in comparison to Kevin Hart, Ke- if you go Kev to Dave as far as following and active and how active Kevin is on social, nigga. This is a real great conversation. The micro versus the macro influencer. I know all the all the uh, IG IG bitches who got influencer and uh, and shit in they in, in they bio and they description. This is the conversation we need to have: the micro versus the macro. That that impact is a little different when it when it when it when it when it's a value, when it's of substance, when the person means something and can create a fucking moment with something authentic. That's the difference. And 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 I know Kev didn't hear mine. It's it's hilarious to think that he did. No, he definitely. Uh, didn't. Let's say he did. Argument's sake. Let's I say he's been in the house, bro. He's heard G, all takes. Let's say let's say that he heard my take. Okay. I hope you did, and I hope, but I hope he heard how big of a fan I am of him. Never met that man and, and love him dearly. Of course he didn't. Of course he did. No, he missed that part. All all I was saying was exactly what Dave turned around and did. You've been through some shit. You've seen some shit. And, oh, and by the way, I got smoke for Dave, too. Like, as great as that was, got smoke for Dave. And, yeah, slavery is a choice. Ha-ha. We're back at it. Nigga, the images of independence. I want I want everybody to think about that. Nip, RIP, we miss you. We love you. Um, but even as, as the details of his contract have come out, the perception of independence. The perception of of independence and and, and creative freedom that the Chappelle show had. For Dave to sit up there and tell us, no, that's not what it was. And to to play a sympathetic figure. 
I'm, I'm here for it. I'm glad that everybody got it, but it ultimately does a disservice to the creatives that go, God damn, our heroes were fucking bound, bound are, 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 not were, are binded enslaved dudes. This nigga Ye went on a fucking seven day rant about his contract situation. Meanwhile, his artists are going, yo, my nigga, I ain't been paid. Big Sean. And so, for Dave to go, I didn't know what to do. All right, cool. I need, I, I need, I need niggas to be, I need niggas to be just, just a little bit more accountable and better losers. That's just, that's just me. That's how I walked away. I was, I was grateful for the conversation, but ultimately was like, all right, bet you signed that deal, my nigga. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Now let's move on. Let's make another one. That's it. I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm hurt, but if I'm being honest, I wasn't even watching the Chappelle show on Netflix because it some of the shit just didn't let, it didn't age well to me. God, God, God bless Charlie Murphy. So that aged well, but the rest of it, I could do without. Let's just make a new one. You're you're so much better than that now. So that retroactively ask anybody to do no, I'm not asking nobody to do shit. Sorry, I'm gonna get to you Bay Area niggas in that clubhouse shit too soon. Like I'm not asking nobody for nothing. We have all the means to do it. You've been shooting this exceptional content on your own. Let that shit ride, man. Let them folks have that bullshit. Let's make something big, way, way bigger and better. Oh, completely. And I think that that's definitely in the works. I think, no, no, I it, think it there, is. I think it is. There, it I is. think there's a plan of action for that. This is just like, this is literally seeing how far my my star power goes yeah, right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of where that flex is for yeah. Dave. I think that, I think he's just literally trying to see how far, because tr- to the bottom of my heart, I do not believe that Dave Chappelle thinks that he is some type of sympathetic figure. Okay. Because okay. he's been, he's he's been the biggest voice against being sympathetic, sympathetic towards things. And that, so that's, so that was, so that I was think my, that was a play on the word of being sympathy. That, that was my point. You know, my G, he's been the biggest, he's been the biggest advocate for that. And I was like, bro, here, don't, don't turn around and then do that. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear that shit from you. Of everybody, you're the last person I want to hear that from. I'm sorry. I think in a way this was mocking that whole idea because okay. I think that since sympathetic figures tend to get their way in today's age, mm-hmm. how about I just try it out for shits and giggles? <laughs> I want y'all to see what it look like. Yeah, let me just try it out for shits and giggles and see if I get my way. And yeah. if it if I do, then I'm gonna laugh. It, I'm gonna laugh in the back somewhere yeah. and talk to people in the back somewhere about how funny that was that I pulled that bullshit off. That's the day and age that we're in. So, but somebody has to start getting some of that too, besides just like people that are trying to leverage. Because what tends to happen is, is that sympathetic, the sympathy card mm-hmm. gets played so fucking often, and it ha- and it works so damn often that it has to it has I'm to trickle sick, over. I'm to sick it. of it, bro. It uh-huh. has to trickle over. Like at some point, it's got to be like I'm, enough is enough. But if enough is not gonna be enough at some point, my nigga, use that shit to I'm, your advantage. I'm only sick of it yeah. because of. Who who's getting the benefits of it? Gotcha. Like I'm not gotcha. I'm not sick of it because gotcha. there aren't victims. There are victims that are completely being overlooked. Oh yeah, Vic- victims Ignore. get fucking pushed to the side. Ignored. Like I'm talking about real victims. Yeah, for sure. Are being overlooked and ignored in the name of this fucked up pursuit of fame. Fuck you and that fame. There are real victims on the ground that are being just disregarded, and the stories are being like literally pushed down in the local news to cover some celebrity. Like, that's, that was my point with Kev. It's like, dog, like, you got this platform. You got this opportunity to talk about these, this, 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 this toxicity that exists in this industry that you're, you're pioneering. You're doing great shit. You, I know you face some shit. I know you face some battles with these execs. I know, I know your money hasn't completely removed you from the battle that black people face in trying to evolve and build some shit. My nigga, tell me about that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have a I have a a good um, a good parallel for Kevin Hart right now. Uh oh. And I think Kevin Hart is very similar to Tiger Woods at this point. Don't do that. I think Mm-mm. so. I'm I not. So. No, I'm not. That's going far. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hear me out. Okay. The reason why I think Kevin Hart is is on parallel with with uh, with Tiger Woods right now is because of you having this certain type of image to the public eye. 
And as soon as something comes out that goes completely against that image, you don't you don't have a a a, a, a secondary bag. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like you don't know how to perform at at whatever level you're performing at before without having that whole slew of like like that cover up of what you actually do behind the scenes. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like when 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 Tiger Woods got caught with the the women two, three, four, five. Like once that number started to keep going up, and then you start getting into like the bag of like what that what he was saying on answer machines and all the <laughs> shit that's going on behind the scenes. Tiger Woods can't even he couldn't even golf after that, bro. Like he couldn't get his mind right. He all of a sudden he got these injuries, bro. Like he don't know what was going on. You become punch drunk in a way, and I think that Kevin Hart has become punch drunk where he don't he don't know what to say. He don't know how it's gonna hit. He's second guessing it. He's not listening to the right people. I think like all that stuff kind of comes into play once your once your image is is rattled a bit. Mm. You know what I mean? Like you got too many followers to the point where you you can't be edgy. Thank you. It's a weird it's Thank a you. weird space so, that you operate in, so, man. So th- so this is so this is how funny this shit is. Yeah. With Le- Lex salute Lex and everything he does. For the for the for the the visual aspect of the pod, and subscribe, hit the notifications on the YouTube page, uh, Monty Draper. Follow the Meet the Brave podcast if that's what you're there for. There's a playlist designated for that. I love it because hey. because of the because of the the fluctuation in the views. You know what I'm saying? It's like certain shit hit, certain shit don't, but it's consistency and it's just it's just building. It takes time. Um, but the the way it's staggered, for and this is just, just seeing how the sausage is made. Uh, the way it's staggered, it just allows us to have way more deliverables and and assets, and that's that's because of how hard Lex is working on this shit. Sausage, all right? Don't be don't don't look how hot dogs are made, man. <laughs> <laughs> sausage is all right. Sausage is all right. Bro. Um, don't look at um, dogs, Mr. Man. Chrisman, you are on the Meet the Brave podcast. Please don't say anything that will incriminate you or anyone that you love. Uh, say hi to the people. <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my my dear friend Ryan calling from Amsterdam. Uh, we are we are we're just getting into it. Um, I am I am ranting about the man trying to take everything from us. So I will call you back. I'm totally I'm totally kidding. By the way, I love you, bro. I'm gonna call you. I'll call you back after we're done. Sounds good, brother. All right, man. Peace. Uh, <laughs> fuck. What was I saying? The sausage man. Okay. So post the Kevin Hart clip from from two episodes ago, mm-hmm. not not last week, or maybe it was last week. Was it last week? I don't... Anyway, regardless, I just so happened to post it like two hours prior to him trending for the clubhouse shit, mm-hmm. um, and then went to go see what it was and what happened, and I was like, wait, that's it. But then I got to see how frustrated he was by it and then couldn't help but get a chuckle out of it because he was so hell-bent on coming for anybody who critiqued the fucking uh, special. It was like, this is, this is the space you, you trap yourself in when you, when you play PC and you're supposed to be... You're, like, your job, the, the, the career you signed up for is in the name of freedom of speech. So you can't care. You can't be attached to the shit. You can't, you're not playing the same game. You're gonna lose on a, you're gonna lose out on a lot of money and a lot of opportunities based on calling yourself a comedian. That's that's the Patrice and Bill Burr comparisons that I was that I was raising. That I got like I I know y'all ain't seen it, but some of them comments like are obviously for us. But a lot of them was like, "Are you bugging? You like like for real?" And I get where people were coming from because they're like you comparing apples to oranges at this point because Kev is a megastar and them niggas are real comedians. But I'm but you can't then turn around. Go on Clubhouse, say the shit that you say, and be confused by people doing bullshit that they do because they're not fighting for the First Amendment, bro. Like it's shit too. It's too. It's too PC. Niggas is mad sensitive, and so you can't care. Like you genuinely can't, but you care so much because you want to be, you want to be way more famous, and you want to do when you want to be a pioneer at this point. And you've pioneered so much. Don't let off the gas now, nigga, and play corporate. I, I, I don't want to watch Kevin bend to corporations and and the Oscars and the fuck them niggas. I, we about to get to the Grammys too. Like, oh yeah, that's who, we got we got big who shit for gives the a shit? I'm oh. sick of I'm sick of I'm sorry, G. Oh, you get, you get. Uh, I'm sick of 
I'm sick of people like Kevin pioneering some exceptional shit. The white people catching on late, inviting you in, and then telling you what you can't say. And then you going, all right, mm. bet. And then going and then getting confused, getting confused at letting at letting the spectators dictate your rhetoric. No, nigga, you got here to you got here to be the first one over the hill. It's 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 a, it's literally that simple, but I get it. It's, it's once you once you get access to that much bread, it's like oh man, you don't know what you, you really don't know what you're talking about, money. Yeah, un, un, unfortunately, I do. Is it possible though that he would need to pick which one he wants to be? Like, you no, know, he already did. Huh? He already did. No, I'm saying though, but like for career wise, what you would need to do is pick one, and it is like you can't do both. No, he, like it's impossible for you to be ah uh, ah uh, this. You, uh, you can no, you cannot, money. Dave, you cannot. You Dave, cannot, you cannot Dave be, is doing both, but he's not. He's he, not a movie star. Like, Kev's not a movie star. Yeah, shit, shit, shit. shit. Okay. okay, all right. Now, shit. now y'all gonna make me be disrespectful. Shit. Now all right. Gonna be, hey, are we are right. we t- are we talking about his 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 rate his quote his rate his what they what they gotta pay him? Or are we talking about talent? No, we're not talking. We know have to talk about talent. I was about to like, say there there's, no there's nothing talent. about movie star starting. Oh, okay, okay, talent. Like, okay. Like, okay. Then what I'm, is your draw? Like, yeah, you're talking can, about can draw. you draw? Oh, yeah, bet. I'm, I'm with y'all. Yeah, okay, so my like, bad. Excuse yeah, so excuse mo- so movie star. You got to choose between if you want to be a movie star, if you want to be a stand up comedian. And my nigga, they're not gonna be able to coincide. Like, they're not gonna be able to bet. coexist. Bet. So bet. which one do you want to do? He, and he keeps trying to. He keeps trying to do uh, try, tap try dance to, with both. Tra- exactly. He keeps trying to tap tap dance with both sides. And ain't sides. figured out one of them. God damn it! <laughs> hey man, isn't that isn't that funny how that works? You want to be loved. I want to I want to be loved and can't figure out can't can't dial in on on either one of these. Damn man. God damn, that's funny how that. He works. might need to sit down with Charlemagne and figure out like the psychology behind mm-mm, this. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't do it. Not it's today. Possible. Not today. <laughs> it's Not possible. today. It's possible. Not man. today. I think that- I think that we need that special, bro. We need that one hour special on what's really going on with Kevin I, Hart. This is this is feeling like an attack, and I need to I need to walk that back because I'm not I'm not ever just no black man publicly. Sorry, I love I'm this is this is me going, nigga. You're brilliant. Them early specials are brilliant, and and contrary to everybody's belief, I I do think Kev is a is a is a talent acting wise. I do. I genuinely do. Like, he just ain't figured it out yet, but you can't figure it out trying to do, trying to appease everybody. Like, you got to take a take a fucking chance, bro. Like, do you have a team that's reading these scripts? Go get you the right script. Like, if you want to get your Steve Carell on and do a serious, like, Steve Carell in serious roles are fucking insane. Yeah. Like, if that's the trajectory you're aiming for, Brett, let's go find you those roles. Let's go find your little Miss Sunshine. Like, but for him to do that, like you said, he's gonna have to stop away, step away from comedy. Like, that's that's fine. But even if even if you're doing both, do it for real. Like put your heart into. I, I, maybe that's maybe that's what it is. Put your heart into it. Like even if it is a money grab, people when we, uh, talking about Black is King, I'm going to defend Black people getting a bag every time. Just don't let us know it's a money grab, my nigga. Like be creative enough to make me go. Hey, he did that. But don't have me sitting there going, God damn, this feels like a money grab. Mm. If cause cause if to your point, G, if Dave was whooping us on the sympathetic figure shit, I fell for it. It worked. I think he did. <laughs> Honestly, I was gonna go back to that and say, as I was watching it, I instantly thought about the stand up where he said, It's too easy making jokes for me now. Yeah. And then like so when L was talking about him going that whole angle, yeah. I was like, damn, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Because I think Dave's at the point now, it's like, like he said, I don't need a punchline. No. I figured out every single way, like he's mastered that craft to the point Bro, now it's people, like people people laugh if you listen, I I'm listening to the crowd reaction. Dave is seriously talking about and he and he wasn't intending to be funny. Like he's not doing the thing anymore that comedians do where they say a part of the story and it's so funny to them. Like he wasn't laughing. Yeah. He was just up there kicking and shit and, and, clapping fo- and, and folks were laughing and clapping at the most awkward parts. I'm like, nigga, did you did you hear what he just said? Like that wasn't a clapping moment. But it was such a brilliant display in the next step 
past being a comedian. Like he he is he's one hundred percent entered that realm of storyteller. Um, Bro, we we've in those stories together. Yep. was enough for me. Yep, yep. Because you, the art the arch of like where he started from in that in that uh, stand up to where he where ended. He ended. <laughs> And brought all that shit together, yeah. bro. That shit was enough to be as impressive as yeah. you can think of when it comes just to storytelling. Yeah. To be an engaging speaker, that guy has that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you could do whatever the hell you want with that, as with a comedian, especially with a comedian background, because you don't actually have to say things funny. You are funny. You know what I mean? Like there isn't a part of Dave that is not funny. And even when he speaks the truth, He's going to naturally in his brain say things that are almost condescending in a way that if you have that type of um, if you have that type of that type of humor, then you're gonna find that shit funny. Like I found a good amount of that stand up to be interesting and entertaining and funny all in once because of how he was projecting out what he was trying to get across. Yeah, and really it was just like. I know you guys uh, will do whatever the hell somebody tells you to do, so do this for me, please. And that's basically stop watching that shit. I don't know if y'all gonna actually do that, but it, but humor me, you know what I mean? Like, and that's kind of like where he where his underlining funny part was was just humor me by doing some shit that y'all would naturally do yeah. for others. You know what I mean? So do that shit for me. Why not? Yeah. Right, let me just try it. I uh, the the. <sighs> And nobody loves Kevin Hart more than I do, bro. So like, it, like when I say the shit that I, I say God about him, oh bro, I, I hate that it's turning into a Monty hates Kev thing because it, it couldn't be any further from the truth. Not like, even I, that. Not I, even, I, I just think it's just more so like all this stuff is going to come across as hate. Yeah. And you and like Monty said, I definitely have zero hate in my body for like black people in general. Yeah. Just on like just everybody getting their wins. Nah, my nigga, get but, your bag, bro. But yeah, get the, your bag for sure. Tor- I, I, okay, okay. This is what it is. Never dissing nobody black, especially mm-hmm. no black man that's done shit in his lifetime that niggas dream of. It, me especially. The one, the thing that's hardest to watch is the torture of wanting acceptance and validation. That's all it is. It jumps off the screen. When I watch Dave, when I watch Patrice, even up to his last thing, which was the roast. Uh, I forget whose roast it was, but even Patrice, to his dying day, never reeked of wanting validation, but especially from Hollywood and especially no white folks. Mm. And this, the, the niggas seeking validation, I'm most sensitive to. Because it's usually the most talented niggas. It's usually the, the visionaries that the second they get that up off their spirit, they can take over the fucking world and have everything they want. Kev can have, he can have his money. He can have his acting career. He can have his entrepreneurial spirit. He can have his production shit. And he can have his comedy if he got that validation off his fucking spirit. That's all. And if, and if he does have it off and it's just part of his, his stick... Then I, and then he whooped me and he and he got it figured out. But I hear it in the tone. It's just tones. It's just it's just tones for me. And I, I just wish that the 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 mentality would be closer to the opposite of what is going on, which is if it took you how long, however long it took you to get on to the point that you're on, yeah, you should have a more like <laughs> more fuck you fuck, fuck you attitude about it yeah. than. This acceptance type shit. Yeah. Like, and what's going on is almost as if the amount of time that it took to get on, you don't want to ever go back to not being the guy. Yeah. Which I said, after you've been on for a certain period of time, it's only natural that people become almost like whatever about your position in this thing. You know what I mean? Like, that just tends to happen from time to time. So it's it's possible that that could happen. Yeah. And you're just trying to ki- continue to grasp uh, people's attention by any means, yeah. but I don't think you. I don't think you have to do that. And I think that you can definitely get some new people on board by going the other route. Nah, that that uh, it's possible. How how how? Now let's stay there because you. Damn, G. What does that mean? What is that? What is it? What does that mean? 
when we are when we are trying to dissect decision making and and rhetoric and shit like that like what like cuz that, cuz that's all that's always what I'm filtering and what I'm thinking about mm-hmm. um or trying to trying to offer grace mm-hmm. and space for um but it ultimately isn't something that's universally understood mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so i guess family Janelle from Uplifters is in the building, my bro. Um, we uh, we just there's a there's a running joke that I hate Kevin Hart now. Apparently, oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but we just we just uh, unpacking that in comparison to day what Dave pulled off this week with Unforgiven and all these different things. It's just that's where we are to catch you up to speed. Um, but L just made a really great point. Um, you will you reiterate that L for, for Lex too? It was because oh, just like the amount of time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I think I think what tends to happen is that you can go either one or two ways on this particular topic, and he's been like how long it took him to actually get on. Mm. Um, you can either have the fuck it, fuck you attitude that you should always have that chip on your shoulder. But I think that he has the opposite chip, yeah. which is the, I need you to love me, that, continue to love me, yeah. um, don't allow me to fall off. You know what I mean? Don't put me back in the position that I was in where y'all wasn't paying attention to me. You know, and I think that's kind of what goes on, unfortunately. You know, and I kind of think that, right on, bro. But I kind of think that um, that he ends up in that, limbo space unfortunately um and not really taking those not taking those risks which i don't really for me personally i don't care if you take those risks yeah i need you just to admit that you're not taking those risks because of the ter- <laughs> the current position you're in that's all, that's all i'm saying though. yeah that's all i'm saying it's not i'm not at don't and that's be your, the movie star, bro. Yeah. If you want to be a movie star, you want to have all this Nigga, love. You want to have all these followers. You want to have all bro. this marketing. It's all marketing approach. All that shit like that. You bro, lit. be that person. You got that's it. it. That's Coldest all. balls is hilarious. Everything the LOL network is fucking my nigga. You lit and so proud of you. I'm not asking every black person to be a martyr because one, it's not. It's not fun. It's not glamorous. And for being honest, Malcolm died broke. Pac died broke. <laughs> Martin died broke. Hey, I'm, it's not for everybody. Don't risk your bag in the name of trying to liberate black people. Don't even do that. But don't also appear to want to, but then reek of needing validation from white people and white institutions. Don't do both. You can't do both. And when you attempt to do both, guess what? It jumps off the fucking screen. That's that's that's, that's all I'm saying. And I I love I love him so much and such a big fan of him. I don't want that torture for your spirit, my nigga. Just pick a side. Like, don't sit on the fence though, because you'll die. And if you're sitting on the fence, I gotta see you as an op. I can't even. I can't even. Like right now, niggas are dying for nothing. So guess what? I can't do. I can't afford to. I can't afford to assume you on my side. If I'm assuming anything, you're an op. Like mm-hmm. literally, my that's how mm-hmm. my brain is working right now. Mm-hmm. If I'm assuming anything, you're an op. Real life. And I'm shooting the kill. Like it's, it's 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 not it's not no back and forth because there was a time where you could go, oh let's see what he do. Nope, mm. you gotta die because if 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 there's any hesitation, it means me. Man, and that's where we're at right now as a people. We're Definitely. see we're seeing it. We're watching it before our eyes. We're in we're in an economic pandemic. COVID, I see you, my nigga. I know what you're up to, but niggas' pockets is more sick than anything. So guess what? We can't afford to do with you niggas like not, not at all like the wolves are coming down from off the mountains where they normally roam and have enough to feast on and they're coming down and feasting on everything that where they normally don't hunt sharks is on the shore walking <laughs> my name came out the water e- evolve my evolve my hey, name got look got, gee, got walking, little toes and shit walking just, upright just, just, shark <laughs> just got the little toes little, little feet ain't, ain't, ain't got the full feet just got the little toes bro just got the <laughs> little twinkle toe sharks <laughs> oh shit that's comedy oh man uh, nah but last thing to this topic man is like case in point Rock Rock Nation Branch mm. first first time there was a video that came out, had a speech that seemed like it was. It came off the top of the dome and it hit. 
Rock Days and Brunch came back around a whole nother year later, and it seemed like you wrote down something specifically for this moment, yep. and it did not hit. Nope. Because it was fabricated. Yep. And it, it was also reeked of that love me. You know what I mean? And that's the type of shit that I'm talking about. Yeah. It's just like, make that shit authentic, bro. Yeah. And a lot of times with this marketing shit, you can come, you can completely come across as un- like like as not, not being authentic, and now you're in like this weird space with like the crowd because not everybody's gonna love you. People are gonna dissect every last thing that you do, and that's the position that you put yourself in. Now you gotta be like, nah, fuck this shit. 